Escape the Backrooms Tutorial. Ho oh, oh, oh. First level is level zero. All you have to do is find a key and open up a door, cross pitfalls, and then you beat the level. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Grab these four ladder pieces. And then you want to click on this ladder here. That'll build it up and then you grab a key. Then you just want to go back here, turn right. Just follow the path I take. And the door will be right here. Open that up. Then you'll be in this pitfall areas or pitfalls area. Uh, when you start walking across here, your screen will get an effect and you'll start leaning one way or the other. And you have to counterbalance that by pressing Q and E. So if you start turning to the right, you want to press Q. If you start turning to the left, you want to press E. And then you can just run across here. Hope you make it all the way because it's kind of difficult. And it should end once you reach about here. And then you just walk this way. And you made it. That's the first level. Level 0 completed. Next level is Habitable Zone. Oh, this level, this section is very easy. You can't die unless you wait forever and your sanity runs out. But what you want to do is you want to go over to this room here. And you want to look at the cars. So I got a, I have a blue, I have a blue car, a red car, a green car, and another red car. So that will be my code on the keypad over there. So blue, red, red, green. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. And there we go. That's the elevator. And then this is where you'll find your first uh, dangerous part of the levels. Uh, there's a skin stealer down here. What you want to do is you want to run to this room over here. The goal of this level is to find four keys. And then you want to insert them into keyholes and... Uh, click on them at the same time I'll show you how to do that once we get there but you just want to open up all the cabinets look inside no keys in this room it is random so you won't find them in the same spot I do uh, pick up almond, almond water as you go that will help you restore your sanity which is decreasing here on the right you just want to be cautious as you walk around here because there is a monster which we should he's right over there you probably can't see he's pretty far and there's our first key you just look at it pick it up another key and another almond water pick that up and then I'll go over to this room next this is the final room it has all the keyholes in it I'm gonna go ahead and insert these two keys it doesn't really matter, but it does help. Uh, another key there. So now we have three out of the four keys, and we're missing one. This one right here. So I'll have to go check the other rooms. Oh, and also, make sure you have a flashlight, because it's very helpful in some areas. Let's go over here next. The, there is one more room and it's all the way down here. It's the most dangerous one though because the skin sealer walks around over there. 
So it's not. So check their last. I will, we'll see if I get the last key in here. Yep, and I got the last key. I'll just show you what the final room looks like. Or where, where it is. You just want to head down this way. Oh. I'm just going to loop in real quick. And the last key. I already have all four of them, but if you are missing one, it would be in this cabinet on the table here or in this cabinet. Pretty simple. And then you just want to open the door, lean, check where the skin stealer is. Alright, he's facing that way, so we can just run back to the main room. And you want to close the door behind you so he doesn't get you. And then you want to click all four of the keys around the same time. And then this door will open here. And this is the next level. This level is pretty simple. Uh, I will show you. I'll show you all the elevator spawns. There's one spawn on each floor. I'll show you the first one. Uh, the first possible spawn is this door right here, which we got, which is the luckiest one because the monster can't get you on the top floor. I'll show you the other ones real quick. Then I'll just go back. You have to be kind of careful on this floor. Yeah, the skin sealer is right over there. Uh, the second door spawn is right here. We didn't get that one because it's upstairs, obviously. Um, and the last one is all the way down here. And it's this door right here. So if you didn't get the first or second one, it would be right here. Um, obviously, ours is at the top. So I'll just... Head back up. Hopefully don't die. Oh. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Alright. Now we get a little bit of a break here. No more monsters. This area just looks like a garage. Our objective is to open this door here, but we can't do that yet. So we have to go into here first. This is the hub area. Um, it has a bunch of different doors with numbers on them. Uh, so this door leads back to level 1, uh, which where we just came from. All these ones are locked. These are fu future levels. I'll show you where to unlock those doors later. But the first time you come in here, you want to head to this door. And you'll see this code right here. You want to look at the rightmost one. Where it says required code. You want to find that exact uh, code there. And you want to match it with one of these by scrolling around. Using A, W, S, and D. Um, so ours is the very first one. So we got DPC4, DPC5 on the left there. It matches this one too. So click and you'll get that one. Um, it'll be different for you guys. It is random. And here's the next one that I matched. You can see that it's the same as the one on the right. Click on it. And now I just need to find one more. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Um... Then you want to head to the right here. It is dark in here. You can't do anything yet. You need to turn the power on. Just click five times anywhere. And then you want to look around this room. And then you'll find this uh, note here. This right here, it heard you, is the password to the computers. So you want to open the computer. And then you just want to type in it heard you and then you'll see gate.exe uh, 
click on that, press run, okay, exit out of it, and then just head back. If you remember the gate I passed that I said we were going to open, uh, doing that command on the computer opens that up. And so now we can just head back to level 1 through the hub door. And we'll be able to open this. Alright. Now this part, you want to stay in the light. You do not want to be out in the dark because there are smilers. Hopefully they'll show this time. Yeah, right there. Th those will come and eat you. You just want to be safe. So run this way as fast as you can. And then you want to wait for another cycle. You can find almond water in here if you need some. not too necessary you just want to run out go to the next one wait for the lights to turn off it's not too bad just don't be out in the dark it's that simple just run to the next room when it goes light and you'll be fine and then this door here has the exit but there is one more possible exit I'll show you that That was a very long light cycle. Alright. And if you did not get the exit over there, it would be right here. Just in this area. But we got it over here, so I just need to head back now. pretty close and don't get close to the edge because they can kill you from the edge so stay back a little bit uh -oh. all right we're good we're good and now here comes the most boring level known to mankind um you literally just run in this direction for like an entire minute that's about it you do not want to go to the right first, that'll be at a later level, but the first time you come to this level, you want to go left, or else there will be an entity all the way down there that'll kill you. So just run this way, and you'll reach a dark section, and once we get there, I'll tell you what to do. Alright, we made it to the dark section. You want to walk here. You want to conserve your stamina. Because once we get past a certain point in this area, a smiler will start to chase us. And he's very easy to not die to as long as you sprint at the exact time that you're supposed to. So, walk forward and once the pipe bursts, just start sprinting. Right here, then you just want to start sprinting. Oh, I mistimed that. Uh, actually, do it after the pipe burst. Uh, Alright, there we go. Yeah, do that. Do that after the pipe burst, just by a little bit, so you don't run out of stamina. Or just walk until you hear the monster, honestly. Um, whoops. Alright, this level is probably the hardest level so far. Well, it definitely is. You just want to walk over here. You can check this out. These will turn green as you, uh... As you complete breakers, these will start turning green. Completing three at a time will save them. So if you complete two, then die, it'll go back to all three red. But if you complete three of these, then die, uh, they will stay green. So 
So once you get them all, it'll save for you. This is the first area. There's no monsters. You just want to check everywhere for breakers. There's a spawn right here, which we didn't get. There's a spawn in here, and we did get that one. Just complete it by clicking on the switches. Pick up almond water if you need it. I'm below halfway right now, so I'm going to drink an almond water because almond water makes you go up half. That way we can save it. There's a spawn in here on this wall here. And there's a spawn right here, which we got. There's a spawn here and a spawn here. But ours will be right here because it's the last one. And now since we completed three in the first area, the gate at the beginning will be opened. So you just want to backtrack a little bit. And this gate right here will be open. Now this is where we meet our uh, fourth entity or third because we didn't see the first one. Um, this is called the Hound. Hounds are very easy on easy and normal mode. Because you can just shine them with the flashlight three times and they'll run away from you. So it's very simple that way. Uh, there's a spawn here. That's the first one. You're completely safe in this entire area. It's once you open this door is when our first hound appears. You'll see him uh, start chasing down this hallway. You just want to flash him with the flashlight. And after his third stun, he'll just run away. Very easy that way. A lot of people do not know that, and it makes this level harder when you do not know that. But with that, with that tip, it makes it super easy. Uh, there's a spawn right here. We did not get that. There's a spawn in here, which we did get. And this last room here can be kind of tricky. Uh, you want to stand back because the hound could be right in front here when you open the door because he roams around in here. So you want to open the door back up. You want to try to get eyes on him. All right, he's in the back. So we can just walk in. He's running at us. Just point the flashlight at him. Wait for him to run away. And then there's a breaker here that you can get and a breaker here. As he's running away, you just want to quickly complete it. And then just get out as soon as possible. Close the door. And that's the third area, or the second area done. Another simple one. And now we're on to the third area, which is definitely the hardest one. There can be some bad RNG you can get. But it's alright for the most part. You basically just want to uh, get the hounds on you, flash them three times, and then when they're running away, then move on to the next area. Alright, in this first room, there's a hound in here. So you just want to run in, flash it, and then just run back up. And then wait for his noise to stop. And he will actually despawn, so we don't have to worry about him. And now, in this area, there's a bunch of spawns. Uh, there is a hound that roams around, so open the door back up. Do not step in the puddles. They will kill you. Do not step in them. So just be careful of them. So the hound is right here. So we can actually go over here. Oh. If he's on you, just flash him three times. Do not freak out. And then just run to the left here. This is the first area where there's a possible spawn. Do not go this way. Do not go this way. Go to the left here. I'm actually going to turn my gamma up so you guys can see better. Yeah, there we go. 
then you want to do the same thing open up the door look for the hound he's right here don't get close to him just try to get him with your flashlight all right we're good oh we got very lucky we got two breakers in the same room which is very very lucky it doesn't happen often at all um, this one you just wanna it's kinda easy to understand you just uh, flip them around until they match the colors and then it will make a uh, electricity uh, thing yeah then you wanna flip them until it makes a circle or a hexagon or whatever it is and then this one is just like Among Us you connect the colors very easy and now we just need one more and then we're down with this area so open the door back up look for the hound he's right here flash him flash him again again wait for him to run off and then run to the, this door right here now this uh, little hallway here is safe but there is another area with a hound right inside this door I'm getting low on sanity here so I'm gonna drink an almond water and then I'm gonna turn my flashlight on open the door back up look for the hound there is a spawn of a breaker on this wall here so you want to check this wall first because this one is a hard one to get you kind of want to flash the hound three times run and get it and then do that again it can be tricky but we want to run to the left here next because there isn't one over here we'll get the hound on us flash him three times and then we'll run away then we'll run over this, this area and there is a possible spawn here we did not get it and then we'll just run over here we got him aggroed again flash him three times he runs away open this door um, and now this area is also safe this little zone but once you open this door you want to back up obviously because there is a hound out here this guy likes to hide a lot he can sometimes be hiding in this side sometimes he'll be all the way back there so just walk out until he sees you obviously do not walk out if he's over here because he'll kill you but just wait for him to aggro onto you because once he does that he'll actually despawn and then this entire area becomes safe besides the water obviously all right flash him three times he runs away then just check every room all right this is our last breaker here we only need three and we got it already which is very nice and complete the small puzzle and if you have all three already at this point you just want to go here and then you want to exit through this door over here now if you do not get the third breaker there you want to come into this you want to you want to check all the rooms in this big area first and then you want to come through this crawl space and you want to check uh, in this room here there'll be one there could be one right here there could be one right there there could be one on this wall here and one right there now if you do not get any of those that sucks because now you're in now you have to go to this hallway right here which is the hardest hallway in this entire level because there's a dog that kind of just roams around down, back and forth and you have to you have to be quick with opening and closing doors you, so you'll want to check one of these three doors if you haven't gotten the, your third one yet but since we already got our third one uh, we can just head back and we're basically safe right now so just run back this way you'll recognize this as the second part we were in earlier so we can just run back the way we came from.
and then this gate right here will be open. The next level is completely safe. You can't die. Um, there's a puzzle in it that I'll show you how to do real quick. Alright. This is the abandoned office. First you want to go this way. If you want to get the hub doors unlocked, I'll show you where that is. You want to run all the way down here. And it should be this door right here. You want to open that up, walk in. You'll be back here in the hub. And now we have this door unlocked. And this door unlocked. So just head back inside here. And now we can actually go and beat this level. Uh, you can just press restart level real quick. Just so you don't have to walk that entire way. Alright, and then you want to come to the right here. Follow this path. You can check inside the doors. Sometimes there's items in there that can be useful. But this is the main area. This is the first puzzle in this level. Oh, uh, you want to. It's basically just counting. If you passed first grade. You can do this pretty well. Two tables. So you go over to the table vending machine. Press two. One chair. One chair. Count the vending machine. Or count the ice jugs. Or not ice jugs. Water. Water dispensers. One. Two. Three. Three of them. And then count the books. eight books put eight in and that door will open right here and then this area pretty simple just run to the exit I'll show you the right path for that if it's your first time you'll probably check every single door and get lost a bit but you wanna go through here then right here go forward and you'll see this button here. If you make it to the end of this area and the door is closed, you have to backtrack all the way to this spot and click this button to reset the cameras. The goal of this part is to not be seen by the camera here. Well, there's four, there's four cameras. I'll show you where each of them are. You do not want to be seen by them. So you just want to take the routes that you won't be seen by them, which is this way. We dodge the first camera that way. Uh, there's a second camera right there. Uh, hopefully it didn't see us. Um, you just take this area back here. It's completely safe. Walk along this back edge behind the shelves. It won't see you. And now... Uh, uh, there's another camera in here. You don't have to worry about that unless you go out this way, but just go this way. It's much easier. And then right here, this is the final door we need to get to. There is a camera on this wall over here. Don't worry about it. You can just run straight to this door and be fine. But there is a camera right there. And you can see that we did not miss. We did not get seen by any of the cameras because this door is open. Now if we did mess it up we could grab a crowbar here go into this vent and the game will actually laugh at us for uh, being seen by a camera there's a cool little easter egg in here it says yep and then if you did mess mess up one of the cameras just go all the way through here and then go to the reset camera button and then make your way through again. And you actually don't need the crowbar anymore. Well actually, I will keep it because there is one spot that you can use it. Then you just want to head back. Uh, well. If you didn't mess up any of the cameras, there's no need to go in there, but. 
now we're into Terror Hotel, which is very terrible your first time. But I will show you the best way to do this. Alright, this first room, uh, you'll see a bunch of paintings. You want to do youngest to oldest. So you want to do this uh, girl here. And then you want to do this, like, 20-year-old here. And then you want to go to uh, this middle-aged guy. And then to this old guy. And then this door will open. Now you want to grab one of these bug sprays. And what you're trying to find is moths. Uh, nothing can kill you in this area, so don't worry about it. You just you're just trying to look for moths. So just go to each room. You need three of them. So if you see moths flying around, spray them with bug spray. Uh, I think there's another spawn in there, but I don't want to check it. Um, might be one in here. Yep. Here's our first moth. You just want to spray it with the bug spray. And it will turn into moth jelly. Now, if you do notice that the moth jelly falls to the floor, that is because you are playing on 30 FPS. You want to switch your frame rate. You want to switch your frame rate to something higher than 30, and then it will not fall through the floor. A lot of people make that mistake. More almond water, we can pick that up. We're basically stacked already, but why not? We can drink another one since we're about halfway. And then we wanna we need to find two more moths. There is a possible spawn right here. Another spawn is right in here, which we got. That is our second one. And here is our last one. Now that we got all three of them, we don't need the bug spray anymore. So you can drop it. You can keep it if you want. You can use it on another level, but... You can actually use it on two other levels, but it's not too helpful. So you just... Now that you have three moth jellies, just come to this elevator over here. Or the item elevator. There's more spawns in here if you don't have three yet. But you basically just want to set... Do not eat it. Set it in here. A lot of people eat it when they set it in here. It's fine. You can just go get an another one, but... Just, just set it down. And then you just wait for it to bring up a key. Grab the key. Put in... Oh. I ate it. That's great. Oh, and I don't have a... Mm. Moth Jelly does give you a speed boost. Um, I was definitely showcasing that off. Uh, but you... If you eat it, just go get another one. And then put it back in the elevator. Don't need this anymore. Hopefully. And then you'll get your second key right here. And put that one down to get your third key. Organize your inventory if you want. Because the next area is pretty tricky. But I will show you a simple way to do it. So now that you have three keys. You want to come this way. And you'll notice a door over here with three locks. And if you guessed it. The three keys open these three locks. Bam, and then you can just walk through here and get on this elevator. 
Now this next area, you want to be quick. Um, there is a hound that spawns on the right, but we can actually despawn it if we're quick enough. So you want to sprint this way. Just follow the path I'm taking. You want to sprint right away. Open this door. Wait for a hound to spawn right here. Point the flashlight at it. It spawns. Close the door. And now, once the hound de aggros, it'll actually despawn. So you will not have to worry about it. But there is a skin stealer in this map as well that you will also have to deal with. Oh, I got scared by the plant there. So yeah, just check. You want to check each room. Um, in some of these rooms, on this uh, table, there, there will be a paper. You need seven papers. And then I'll show you where to put them at the end. But you just want to pick up seven of them around the map. Be careful because there is a skin stealer. If he is chasing you, you want to run, click on the cabinet here or the bed, and you'll hide in them. Just be careful. Y yep, here is the skin sealer. He's right here. So just hide in the rooms. There is no paper spawns in these rooms. Don't worry about it. Alright, we just died to a bug. That's great. Um. Yep. The monster literally stopped making noise, so I thought he left. But he was still there, apparently. Whatever. I'm not mad. Wait for this guy. Again. Spawns in, close the door. Wait for him to run off, you're fine. Then check these rooms here. Well, you can actually check two more over here. Let's check this one. No papers yet. It's kind of weird. Yep, still no papers. You just want to be careful as you look around. Because the skin stealer uh, might show up. And here is the first paper. Um, you just want to collect it, obviously. But you need six more now. Check this one. Nope. Alright, this hallway is safe. Another one. We need five more. Another one. You basically just want to check every room for papers and be careful. Another one. Wow, they're like all right here. Oh, another one. Uh, I think we need like one more maybe. I'm not too sure. I haven't been counting. Check for skin stealer. Can't spawn in those rooms. Can't spawn. All right. Now I get to show off the next ween. This will be the final spawn points of the paper of the papers.
Just be careful as you go around corners. All right, that's probably the last one, but I'll show all the. I'll show the next area. Hello? Oh, you saw us. It's at the door. Okay, it looks like he actually left this time, and he went that way. So we can just go this way. Yeah. Which is very good. So we can be quick because he'll be in there for a little bit. But anyways, the last papers will be in these rooms over here. So you want to just check all these doors. Look for papers. And I, I'm pretty sure I have them all. So. Oh, no. Nope. We need one more. Alright. And now that we have all the papers... You want to head back to the main area where we started. Watch out for the skin stealer, obviously. Because if he kills you, you have to go get them all again. But you want to put all the papers into this little mailbox thing here. And then you want to look up and you'll see a code. It says 05938. You want to come over to this door and type that in. And then this door will open. Quickly get in because you don't want the skin sealer to come back. And now we're on the next level. This is boiler room. Um, we're kind of low on almond water here. So I need to pick some up in the next level. Because I don't think they spawn in this level. But anyways, you just want to follow this path I take. Uh, these right here are completely useless. So I wouldn't even bother picking them up anyways you just follow this path that I'm taking uh, do not have your flashlight out or do not like shine your flashlight because there are moths in this level and if they see the light then they'll attack you so just do not just don't have your flashlight out when your screen gets wavy like this that means a moth is nearby you can walk right here but there is there is a moth right inside here and do not go inside of these doors here they will kill you if you do that do not go in those doors just follow the path I take and you'll be fine Oh, and I'll, I'll explain these real quick. If you do happen to get a moth chasing you, uh, just click these, and it will shoot steam out, and the moth will not be able to pass, will not be able to pass to them. So you, and then they'll fly back to where they came from. So that's how you like get rid of them. If you do trigger them. Oh, uh, this is the next moth in this area. Just crouch once you get to this doorway. And if you're crouched, they cannot get you at all. So you can actually go right under them. It's kind of scary. But you're good. Just trust. And then once you're past that area, you can start running again. This is one of the checkpoint rooms, so if you do die and you end up here, uh, go this way. There's another checkpoint. I don't know where it is, so good luck if you do die over there. And then this is the third moth area. Just crouch again. It'll be right on this wall here. Now this is the final stretch of this level. Uh, just crouch to the exit, basically. Do not go in here. You want to go to this doorway and then take a left. And there 
is another moth in here, so do not stand up. Keep crouched. And once you make it to this doorway, you can stand up. You can stand up and they won't get you. And then this is where the exit is. So pretty simple. Open this up. Walk in. And you'll notice we're in the same exact level which we were in before. The first time we went left, now we want to go right. So just run this way and I will not mess this up like last time Very fun level. If you drop your flashlight back there, you can pick it up, pick up another one right here. Um, so now just walk forward until you hear the monster and then start running because you do not want to run out of stamina. You can probably start running here. Yeah. And then the next level is called Level Fun. Uh, it's a popular one. Has party goers in it. They will only kill you if you if they see you. So just don't make line of sight with them. Run into here. Do not run all the way down or you'll die. And I'm gonna go ahead and drink this real quick because I'm low on sanity. And you'll notice there's balloons. Popping them will get party goers to aggro onto you or attack you. Um, there's nobody around this area, so you can just pop them in this room if you want. Uh, do not drink this liquid. Uh, liquid pain it kills you so just do not drink it what you first want to do is you want to go right here but there is a party goer looking directly this direction so it will see you if you stand here so what you want to do is you want to run forward do a loop here and then go under this table just like this and when you crouch underneath the table, it'll reset the party goers and it will turn them around. So you can just crouch on by now. Just stay crouched. If you uncrouch, they'll kill you. So, yep. And now, this next part, you actually do not have to you do not have to uh, aggro these guys at all. You can just crouch on through. Hug the wall. Do not go straight across because this guy's line of sight can actually see like until right, right here. So you do want to crouch along the wall here or else he will see you. Hug the corner, and then you can stand up for a little bit. Hug the left wall. Do not go right. There are party goers out here. As long as you stay against this wall, nothing can hear you. And then I'm actually gonna go left first, cause oh, what the? Um, all right. Cause I wanna drink this real quick. I did not expect them to go after me yet. But anyways, you wanna 
aggro them and then run into this room. I'll show you how to do that. And you're basically waiting for them to not be able to see you. So just keep doing what I just did there. And at one point, they won't be able to look at you and you can just walk down this hallway here. Yeah. So it looks like we're good now. All of them are turned away. So we can just crouch along here. And then once we get to this, there is a party goer right here. He is facing forward. So at this point, you actually have to run. It's not that bad, trust me. You just get up and run. And I'll show you where to go. You want to go to the right here. Crouch under this table. And you're good. Pick up any snacks you want. And then this last part, you can just crouch through. Very simple. Just don't go in front of him. Hug the wall. And then you'll get to this area with a bunch of balloons. Uh, you can pop them if you want. There's some snacks you can get. And now we're on to uh, pool rooms. Which is, you just go down these slides here. And we'll be in the pool rooms. Obviously it is safe. And your sanity actually recharges in this level. So just follow where I go. If you want the hub exit, go where I go first. So the hub exit is just all the way down this way. Then you go right one. And it'll be right in this area. You'll see this giant room. And up these stairs will be the hub door. That is a very dark door. Huh. Alright. So now we've unlocked door number one. Door number four and door number 37. And we have a bunch more to go. Alright, walk in here. And you'll go back into this level. Just follow where I go. And. You basically can't die unless you walk into a dark pool rooms area. If you see the tiles become dark, do not walk into that area. And do not walk into this stairwell. This stairwell will kill you. It's not like a monster or anything, but it just it just kills you. I, I don't know why, but just don't go there. walk through here if you have a juice you can just drink the juice and you'll go super you'll go you'll go super fast at this level like this and then here is the exit now this next level Sorry, I had to sneeze there real quick. Um, this next level is kind of tough your first time. Just make sure you follow the exact path I take. This next level is called Run For Your Life. 
So basically, you run for your life and you dodge obstacles. I'll show you what that means. Alright, you'll spawn here. You're completely safe until you cross this line here. You'll see monsters on your on your left and your right. So once you start running forward, they'll come out of those doors and they'll chase you. So just follow where I go. And that's that's it for that one now we're in the end this level is probably the hardest one for beginners uh, there's a monster in here he can hear you from a very long ways away so if he starts getting close just back up just do not let him hear you if he does hear you you want to you want to run quickly to one of the tables in the room and make sure you crouch on the outside of the map when he comes near you because that has the least likely chance of him like accidentally pathfinding into you. So basically you want to grab tapes and um, you can actually pull the alarms in this room. Just be quiet. That was close. I'll show you what pulling an alarm does. Uh, this will distract him for a little bit. So if you pull it, he cannot kill you. So just grab tapes, grab items, run around. He can't hear you. Run to the back here. Get these guys. Just watch out for him. If he starts getting close, go near the wall. The back is generally safe. Okay, so now the lights turned off. Make sure you have a flashlight. I should have said that earlier, but just use your flashlight to navigate. It's not too bad. All right, he's all the way over there. I'm actually gonna collect a few tapes and pull this alarm to the left. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit. All right, we're good. Look for tapes. Make sure you keep an eye on him at all times. You do not want to lose track. Kind of camping me right now. It's all right. Just wait. Just wait till you get your turn, because you do not want to restart. Uh -oh. All right, we're good. He is a bit janky, so you can make fun of him while you're waiting. He is not letting us go. Alright, when he's over there, grab tapes. You can use this fire alarm too. And now you can just run around, grab tapes, until the fire alarm stops. And then be careful because he might go directly this way. I'm actually gonna grab this. Did I get it? Okay. I'm gonna drink that real quick. And all I have to do is check these two bookshelves. Those are the last two available ones.
just be careful. That's the last tape. Once you get all of the tapes, run to this computer, click on it, and then the monster will disappear. Grab almond water if you need it. Then you'll see this very bright light. Just run into it. And now we're at a very bad level for speedrunning since it's very random. You basically walk up these stairs and on one of the one of the floors uh the exit or this floor right here will disappear and you can just fall down the stairs. Now that ranges from floor 10 all the way to floor 99. So you can get you can get very unlucky with this level. Um, if you look at the numbers here, whenever the floor drop drops down, the number will actually say 94 on it. If you can guess, the next level is called level 94. So just run up the stairs, look at the numbers. And then just hope you don't have to run up too far. Because it can take a while. <sighs> yep, this is it. You just run up the stairs. You can use this level to get a quick drink if you want, which I'm going to do right now. Alright. Oh. So we on floor 28 here, it says 94. So now if we go up here and look down, we can see that the floor is actually missing from all the way down there. So all we have to do is just walk forward. And we'll start following. We'll start falling downwards, and then, bam! Now we're on level 94. This level is pretty simple. The mechanics of it, but it can be tough. Basically, it's daytime for three minutes, and then nighttime for one minute. So you do not. You do not want to be outside when it's nighttime. When it starts turning black, you want to get into a house as quick as possible. And there is some trucks up here with items that you can take and you can ride in them too. So just follow the path I'm taking. Uh, the entities on this level are called animations. They have, they're like wooden Pinocchios with red eyes. Uh, they're kind of fast, so do not, just don't deal with them. When it becomes nighttime, get inside of a house, close the door, turn off the lights, and then you'll be fine. You can also leave the lights on if you want, and then if you leave the lights on, you'll have to hide inside the house. Because if the lights are left on, they'll actually run inside of the house, which is not good. So make sure you turn the lights off. And you can see that the truck will start moving here. Get off about here. Run this way. Check your sanity a lot on this level because it drains super fast. I'm gonna eat this for extra stamina.
Uh, take that car if you want. I'm not gonna take it just because it's almost nighttime, I think. And I wanna be near a house when it starts to turn night. Um, I'll try to stay near this one. Alright, I'm gonna try to go for this one. So you see this castle up here? That's where we, that's where you wanna go. Oh, and it's starting to turn nighttime. So you want to get in a house as quickly as possible. Get inside. Turn off the lights. Uh, run up here if you want to. And then you just want to wait until it's daytime. That's it. outside if you want it's dark out there now if you left the lights on you'll have to be hiding in the bed over here or else you'll die so just turn the lights off and you'll be fine and you can see that nighttime is ending so we can go outside now run towards the castle and we should be able to make it to the rope here in this final stretch there is a rope uh, dangling down from this castle if you interact with it you'll go up inside of it and that'll be where the next level is pretty simple run in this direction that I'm going the daytime cycles are they are shorter after the first uh, three minute day I think they're I think they're like a minute and a half after that so you don't have like all the time in the world to get to the rope so if you want to stay in a house before then to give yourself extra time go ahead but if you just run straight to it you'll be fine and then you'll see this rope here just interact with it and you'll climb up Now we're inside of this castle, uh, replenish your sanity if you want to. Dropped it. And now this part, you'll see four boxes in each of the corners. You want to look on top of them, you'll see the circle here. And now you want to match it with the shape on the floor in this line area. So just push it by walking into it. And circle matches with the circle here so just put it on top there star we need to bring it to uh, all the way back here there is one with a circle and a star on it i don't know why he didn't just didn't choose a different shape but it's whatever so just the star goes here square you want it to go over here And then circle and a star and a square oh it's everything uh, that one goes right here and then you'll see this door open and if you couldn't guess by the way this room looks 
and this guy here. There is a clown in this room. Uh, basically, as long as you're looking at him, uh, he cannot kill you. He 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 won't spawn in until you look away. So if you want, just keep looking at him. Back up. Uh, you'll see this uh roller coaster on my right. That is the exit. And you'll see this timer right here. That'll count up to 100. Once it reaches 100, you'll you'll hear a honking sound, and you'll be able to get inside of the cart. And to start the timer, you basically have to look away from the clown. It'll get really dark. It'll get really dark, and then uh, they'll start running around. And to uh, get rid of him, all you have to do is be looking in, in this direction. Because he cannot get you from behind me right here. So if you look at this direction and it, he comes into your line of sight will disappear because that's how he works uh, he goes away when you look at him so he's not that hard just look backwards oh he's gone and um, it's dark now you can see the timer started and now we just look this way just look straight forward and he will start to run at us but since we are looking this way we will be completely fine That green light does not mean good. It's a distraction to try to kill you. Don't go over to it. We're at 50 something right now. So that means we have 50 seconds left until the car activates. You can see the clown running right there. And since we are looking directly at him, he cannot kill us. So this spot is completely safe. You cannot die. Here. And make sure you stand all the way back. Do not stand any more forward. Because he can actually spawn right where that timer is. Yeah, right there. And that also means that you want to be careful when you go to the cart. Because if he spawns in the middle there as you're running towards the cart, he can kill you. So just kind of take the outside edge and look this direction just so he doesn't kill you and we can see that it reached 100 so we are good we can now hop on and then the next level is very dark you'll see what I mean this is called lights out and if you couldn't tell the only way to see is by using a flashlight in this section in the next section uh, flashlights won't even work so just grab all the items you over here because you want them uh, prioritize almond water because it gives you the most uh, sanity back yeah and then you just want to follow this path here you can't die in this first part I'll let you know when the monster first starts becoming a threat but basically you just run this way you'll see an animation appear here uh, it's just a it's just an animation he's not actually in this area right now so you're good no need to worry about it so just go this way use the flashlight you'll see it's pitch black if I turn it off so you kind of need it All right, and this is the second area up ahead. Right in this room, you'll see a crackling light and you'll see something called a LiDAR scanner. So if you wanna uh, drink something real quick, grab a LiDAR and then you'll see on your screen there's a radar that shows where the monster is. So as long as he's far away from you, 
uh, you're good. You can stand up. But basically, when you click with the LiDAR scanner, it creates a bunch of dots on the wall. Because if you notice here, if you use the flashlight, it does not work. It works this way, does not work this way. So you have to use the LiDAR. And it creates a bunch of dots. And you want to follow the path that I'm going to take. You can stay crouched this entire time if you want and you will not die. He can only kill you if you're standing. So if it's your first time, just stay crouched. He almost got close there, but even if he runs into you, you're fine. He doesn't he doesn't have eyeballs until later levels. In this level he cannot see. So just follow the path I'm taking. It can kind of be confusing. So just make sure you watch carefully where I'm going. And if he walks far enough away from you, uh, you can actually stand up and then drink any of your items or eat any of your items to replenish your sanity. So you can see here, he's pretty far away. We can stand up. We can take a drink if we want. I'm good right now. I'm not below half. But since he was far away, we could just uh, drink. And you can stand up if you want. It's, it, it is faster that way, but I'll just take it slow just so you can tell where I'm going easier. Just follow where I go. Pretty simple. And this is the final stretch here. This is the last hallway. And then right in here you'll see the exit. And you do not need this anymore. Unless you want to use it for whatever reason. But it's useless. Open this door, walk inside. And this is the next uh, hub exit. So you can walk up these stairs here. Open this door, walk in here. And now we're back in the hub. Drink your almond water if you're low. Now we have door 1. Door 4. 37. Uh, this level 94 one opens after you beat the level. You don't actually have to find it anywhere. It's actually nowhere to be found. You can't actually go into this hub door once inside the level. So do not, do not go into level 94 from the hub, or else you'll have to go through the entire level again and lights out just to get, just to get back to this area. So just do not go in this door. And now we have level 7's door here. This level is called the Uh It's a big ocean. And you'll see some boats up ahead. Once you're in a boat, you actually do not drain any sanity. So just stay in a boat. Now my water is glitched. I don't know I don't know why. Uh it's probably because my I don't have the best computer, but I, I don't really know why. But you should have more realistic water than I do. But you'll see this lighthouse in the distance, maybe, if you don't, it's fine, but just, just, uh, boat over to that. 
Nothing can actually kill you on this level. Uh, there is a big scary monster, but it's not threatening at all. So just go to this area. It'll start to get a little foggy up here too. Don't worry about it. And if you do get lost, after like a minute, the lighthouse will actually turn on. So, there's that. But just keep going this direction from where I from where I originally was pointing and you'll make it to the lighthouse. It's not bad. Should come into view here pretty soon. Looks like we have to turn a little bit. And here's the lighthouse. This is, this is the final part of the level. Just get out of the boat. Like that. Um, eat anything you have if you want to. Pick up an almond water. Actually, I don't even need that. Because I need this helmet here. You want to put on this diving helmet and then you want to walk inside here, put it on, this door will close and you'll see something that's supposed to be scary but don't worry there's no threat at all in this part, nothing can kill you. I'll show you the path after this jump scare happens, oh no, oh no. Alright, so you want to swim out this way, look to your left a little bit, and you'll see this cave here, basically you just want to swim inside the cave, pretty simple. And then you'll see this part here, Sw swim straight down. Just find your way, maneuver your way through this hole. And then you'll see this water here. Swim up to it. And you'll see this 4K cutscene type thing. That's much clearer than, than the actual level. And now we're in a cave system. Uh, as you can see, we're in a cave. Yep. If you have friends, you can pick up these walkie talkies. You can talk to them. I'm playing by myself. So, yeah. Basically, you just go in here, click this doorway thing. Bug spray will shoot you. I don't know why, but that's how it works. And there is a moth actually right in front of us. So, we want to crouch right here. And we just want to crouch past this guy. And make sure you hug the middle. Because if you crouch and hit the rubble on the side, that'll actually make a noise. So stay in the middle here. And just wait a little bit. And now, now we can stand up. And we're fine. Crouch under here. Go to the left here. And there's another moth coming up. crouch you'll see him right here yeah we almost made a noise there he didn't hear us though 
He's very dark for some reason, but he's right there. Just crouch until you make it to this area. Close the door. You're safe in here. Now this area is actually a checkpoint. So if you die, you'll be teleported here. That's why these exist. Um, you don't have to worry about any moths in this section as long as you follow this path. Just hug the left. Hug the left. And then rocks will fall behind you through this area. And just keep walking forward. You'll see this bridge right here. Uh, do not sprint over it. You'll fall. Just walk. Drink if you want. Refill your inventory. This next part is the hardest part of this level because it is very random. As you can see or hear, there is a skin sealer right outside the door, which is not good at all. Um, basically, you just have to make your way to the exit and hopeful, and you just have to hope that they don't see you. If you see a flashlight coming towards you, run because that means the concealer is coming near you. And on this level, the skin stealers actually run faster than you, so that is great. Uh, we have somebody creeping up on us right now. So I'm gonna close the door. And he. Alright. He, uh, attacked us through the door, apparently. Alright. Open this back up. Hope, hope he's gone. This part's just really random. Kinda sucks. No way he's coming back. Go away. Go away. Turn around. Is this guy good? Hello? Hello? Oh, Hello? that's great. This guy is camping us right now. Very unfortunate. I guess all we have to do is wait for him to leave. So I can show you guys the best path out of here. Actually, if you restart the level, it'll actually reset their spawn points. And they will not be right in the front area. Which is good. So now they're not camping because they're they spawned all the way back there. Just follow where I go. You want to hug the right wall. Turn off your flashlight if you want, so you can see their beams better. Then you want to sit behind this rock, and you want to uh, lean outwards to see if they're over you want to wait for them to walk away basically because most of the time they'll be down here and it doesn't look like they're doing that right now but most of the time they're just camping at the exit which is why you just wait behind this rock and wait for them to leave. But I do not see them right now. Maybe he's just standing down there. Uh, obviously check behind you every now and then. 
Okay, you can see this guy. He's about to walk forward to. He is heading to that door. That's usually what they do at the start, which is why I waited here. But he did this a little later. Oh, there was a guy down there. So we are good. And there should be another one. The other guy should be coming back soon. I think. I think that was a different guy. Uh, it might have been the same, same one. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm tired of waiting. Just run to this area. Close the door. Obviously, you can keep waiting there until you have eyes on both of them, just to be safe. I took kind of a risk there, but it's not fun to just wait, I guess. So yeah, that part back there is just completely random. Good luck. Now we're on to this part. You'll notice a familiar wallpaper. Yep, we are back. We are Barack. Alright. Come to the left here if you want the hub door. Don't go down there first. The hub door is right here. And that door opened up. The zero one. Go into it. Right here. Go to the left here. You'll see this area. Uh, you want to go in here first, just to see the code. You'll notice this weird shape here, and then a 1, a 2, a 3. Click this button. Number 1 is a square. Number 2 is a circle. Number 3 is an arrow. arrow. So square, circle, arrow. Remember that. You'll see this locker right here, and if we type in square, circle, arrow, we can open it up. Very simple. Um, if you kept the crowbar from earlier, you can actually break through here. And this just leads back to the very first level of the game. It's not, it doesn't actually help you at all. Uh, it's just like an easter egg. It leads you back to the very first level. I don't know why you would want to go there, but if you want, you can go there. Um, how did I pick that up? Um, apparently maybe you have this now. But you want to pick up the chainsaw. You want to break this wooden ar area down. It'll break through. Uh, keep it with you. It's kind of important and then Walk through here, and then you'll fall down through the floor um, Yep, you'll just fall <gasps> Now we're in musty level zero uh, Go this way If you ever get lost, just hug the right wall and you'll make it to the exit. I kind of forgot the path for this level, so I'm just going to do that. I'm pretty sure it's this way though. This seems right. Oh. Yep, that's definitely right. And if you see an arrow, obviously follow it. I don't know why you wouldn't follow a big arrow. Go in here. 
go in here, go to this arrow, follow this guy, and you'll notice that there is a another chainsaw on a table up here. That is because you need the chainsaws to break down doors. And when you break down the doors, there will be a, a, lever, a lever inside some of them. And once you get all the doors broken down, you want to quickly press all four lever levers and then you want to make your way to the exit. This part is kind of tricky. So don't worry if it takes you a few tries. There is a howler that walks around here. So be very careful. You can hide in these vents. Um, you saw us right away there. Kind of unfortunate. All right. Sadly, you cannot kill him. I wish you could. He's very annoying. Just run to a vent, run inside a room that you've opened, and you'll be good. He does not have ears, so do not worry about him uh, hearing you. You'll see we have a lever here. You want to take note of it. Do not open it yet, because it will actually not help you at all. I'm going to go get this other one that we ran away from. Uh, around with. So basically just open the doors, be careful. There is not one in here, so do not remember it. Wait for him to walk away. Since he went that way, we can actually go this way now. And there is a door uh, right here. Um, there is a lever here, so take note of that one. And there is always a lever inside this room over here. So always make sure you get this one. And there is also always a lever near the exit. I'll show you where that one is. So now that we have an idea of where all four levers are, we can click it. And you can also look through here to see where the monster is. Kind of. Alright, I'm just going to click it anyways. And then now we're on a timer. We have to click all four levers within like a certain amount of time. I'm not sure what the time is. But, you have to be quick. Be careful as you go across the corner. Okay. Can be kind of sketchy. Okay. There's there's another chance right here. Um But we didn't get it that this time. Click a second one there. Oh, we're low on sanity, so we need to drink. If you see that warning, always drink. And then we need to find the... We need to go to the last two. Um, not sure this guy is right now. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. He's going that way. So, we have two of the three right now. Or two out, two out of the four. Click this guy. Now we have three out of four. And now the exit is down this way. And that's also where the last lever always is. So we can click this one. This will open up uh, 
you'll lag a little bit you can use this to hold it down for your teammates um, and then now we enter this area you'll see level 188 we actually don't get to enter this level yet until very later date but yeah you just want to make your way over to this area and you'll see a code here you'll see it looks like the windows that we saw so you want to take note of which windows have color on them so four one five three one four four one five three one four that opens up the elevator you can drop the chainsaw for now we don't need it again yet and now we go down the elevator click click the button and we'll make it to we'll be back inside of the cave level so we are back inside of this cave level don't worry we don't have to actually play any more of the cave we just go to the left here and the exit to the next level is literally right here so do not worry about it but this next level is probably one of the hardest if not the hardest level in the game so if you want to take a break before this level go ahead it will take a while I'm gonna show you where the hub entrance is in this one but be careful when you go inside some of the houses because there is a wretch the the guy we saw from the lights out level that walks around if I be quiet you can hear the footsteps so you can hear the footsteps um, If he hears you, he'll chase you. He saw me. And your sanity depletes very fast in this level. So be careful of that. Uh, wait for this guy to leave. If he ever leaves. Yo, you good? Alright. Wait for him to leave. Crouch along here. And I'll show you where the hub door is. Open this up. Go to the right. Keep going this way. He usually doesn't come down stairs on his own. So you should be fine. And running down this very long stairs. We'll bring you to the hub and now we have all the doors from this point on 0 1 4 37 94 7 and then 9 this is where we came from go back inside this level takes a while to load on some people's laptops it can take like 30 whole seconds but anyways once you're back here um, just go over here, there will be a little, uh, screen over here that will show you what to do. You'll notice that this gate right here is locked. We need to try to open that. So you'll see on this screen, you'll see three houses that have red marks on them. All of those houses will have a computer inside of them that you need to uh, like activate or something and that will open this gate up. So I'm going to go to this house on the right first which will be over here. Keep in mind everybody's houses will be different unless you get the same one as me which is unlikely but you will you'll you will probably get different ones but I'm not gonna show each one off because that'll take a while so inside of this house this house is actually safe some of them are safe some of them are not 
so be careful of that. Just look around until you find the computer. And here is the first computer, right in here. And just wait for it to load. Takes a very long time. Alright, drink some almond water because you're gonna need it because your sanity drains very fast. Um, and I haven't encountered the watcher yet, but the watcher is basically a big squid that can walk on land. Actually, not really a squid. It's a walking eyeball. Oh, and it's coming. You can notice by the loud footsteps. I'll see if I can get close to it so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, right there. It's a big giant walking eyeball. If it sees you, it runs really fast at you. So do not get close to it. Or else you're dead. You just want to go inside of a house when it gets near you. That is your best bet. Alright. Now you'll see that we we got that computer. That house is no longer marked red. And we actually have another house right here that's very close. That is marked. So we'll go to that one real quick. And there is, there is a wretch in this house. So you do want to be careful. Yep, he is right there. Basically, your best bet here is waiting for him to go upstairs and then go over to go over to the computer and then just run out. So I'm just waiting for him to go up. And then you want to make your way to the computer. Click on it. And then once this finishes, you want to run to the door. Oh, there's also another thing you can do. I'll show you that real quick. If you complete the computer and he's blocking the door, or you can't go to the door, you can literally just press restart level. And it'll, it'll load for a bit, but you'll see what I mean here real quick. Pressing restart level after getting a computer will actually save it. So now I don't have to exit. I can just get the computer and restart without having to deal with the wretch again. So that's a helpful tip right there. And now the last house is actually the very last one or the very first one we went in. And... I do not remember where the computer is. Well, I think I know where it is, but I haven't done this level in a while. Basically, it's the same one with the hub door. It's kind of tricky. You just gotta wait for the wretch to get in a good spot for you to go upstairs. And I'm pretty sure it's up here to the left. So we just gotta wait on this guy. Maybe he can come down here, go that way. That would be nice. We can try to aggro him down here. Yep, he noticed us. You'll see these locks on the doors. Click on them. That means he can't get in. Uh, this guy can walk through 
This guy can open doors, so be careful. But the last computer is right here. So I'm just going to get that real quick and then press restart. And that's it for the first part of the level. It's not too bad. It can be very unlucky to you. So that's the only thing you have to watch for. So I don't, we got the computer. I don't want to deal with the wretch going downstairs. Just press restart. Very simple. And then we'll notice that the gate has opened. And now we're on to the next part. We go inside here. Go down the stairs. And... Let me bump up my graphics real quick. Because I think this only shows on Ultra. There should be a video that plays. Yeah. Watch this video real quick to learn what Knowing to do. Knowing how to deal with emergencies can greatly reduce the risk of an accidental contamination event. Whenever you enter the laboratory, be sure to locate the emergency safety shower, as it may have been moved to a different area. In the event of an accidental contamination, instruct the affected person to stand in the middle of the emergency platform on top of the footprints. The platform should automatically close to ensure everyone's safety. Next. Make sure the filtering unit contains four full bottles of concentrate. If some of the bottles are only partially filled or missing, place a new bottle in its spot. You'll know that the unit is ready when all four lights are green. Now you can push the emergency shower forward until it's locked in place and can't be moved anymore. At this point, you can rotate the handle on the shower to activate it. The platform should remain closed and will automatically open up when the process is complete. Manually opening the platform can cause harm to the affected person or others in the laboratory. Please make sure to clean the equipment and replace all the materials before leaving. Alright. Then this will open and a wretch will spawn. I'm going to move my graphics back. Um, you'll see the shower. You can move it forward you want but basically we have to find four concentrates without dying make room in my inventory there's one there is a wretch walk rock there is a wretch walking around if he sees you, go into one of these lockers. They are scattered around the map. You can hide inside of them. Basically, you need four of these. He is behind me right now, I think. There is one over here. I'm gonna grab that. Listen for his footsteps. Okay, not there. try to go down this way he might be down here though which would not be too good yep he's there run away find a locker get inside hide from him wait for him to go away
Okay, he's going down there. He turned right. So we should be fine to go this way now. Yep, he's going here. Get the last bottle. Now we want to be very careful here because we do not want to aggro him yet. We need to make it back to the final room uh, before, before he aggroes onto us. This is very important because we have to put the bottles in before we lead him to the pressure plate. He might be over here. Yep, he's there. Shit. Alright, I'm just gonna run around, do a loop. Alright, we are good. Put the bottles in. Uh, where is it? Two. And you can see I have this set up. Now you can see this pressure plate here. You need to lead the wretch to stand on here. So you want to get him on you. And then you want to stand back here. And then he'll run straight at you. And he'll step on here. So just listen for footsteps don't want him turning the corner on you find him and then just get him to aggro onto you okay he's in here I think he's coming out Oh yeah, he's going this way. Alright, hopefully he looks at me. Alright, he's on me. Now just run forward. Stand here. And boom, he's trapped. And then you just click this thing. And you'll notice he looks like one of us. We saved him. He has a key card. Make sure you grab that. And now we have to go back where we came from. I left some almond water over here. I'm gonna go pick that back up. All right. Now we can just head back. Very simple. And now we'll be back into the uh we'll be back into level nine with the houses. But it's basically over, don't worry. You just wanna head out where you came from. You wanna go left. You wanna go left here because the watcher uh goes that way, so you don't wanna go right. I'll go left here. And you just wanna wait, or not wait, just run. And you'll notice a gate over here. This gate is closed. We have a key card though, put it into here, and it will open up.
And that's the last of that level. Now we're in this level. This level is trash. Nobody likes this level. Basically, you just run through a corn maze. It's not very fun. So just run forward here. Look behind you from time to time because there is a monster that can come and get you. He has the same clown AI, so he'll run away if you look at it. Yep. Just look behind you every now and then. And we are safe now. This barn area is safe. And here we go. Oh. Alright. Now we are in this corn maze. And you'll see this light here. Run to it. And you want to be very careful because there is monsters. There is uh, face leans is what they're called. They have chainsaws and they will kill you. Uh, I think one actually spawns right when you walk through here. You can actually put your uh, foliage quality on low and you can see better. Actually not really. No, it's shadow quality. Yeah, there we go. If you put your shadow quality to low, you can see so much better. So walk forward here. This guy will spawn. You want to run into here. Actually, you just kind of want to loop him. Wait for him to leave. Alright, just run this way now. Now I kind of forgot where to go here. I haven't played this level in so long because it's bad. But I think this is right. Basically, you just want to hug the fence until you reach where you're supposed to go. And listen for chainsaw noises. If you hear it, run away from it. Okay, I, rem I remember that part pretty well. And then the next one's there. I'm gonna drink real quick. Yum. I do not think there's a guy up here. We can walk forward a little bit, just in case. Oh, it's behind, it's behind us, all right. I don't think this is right. No, this is right. Yeah. Alright, here's the third one. Two more left. Alright. Just run this way. Sprint, 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 sprint. Oh, 
All right, a little bit of a close call there, but we made it. All right, final area. Just follow the fences till you reach an opening. Jumping up sometimes can help you see the fence. I think we can just run straight to it now. Yep, and that's the last one. And now we're on to the new levels. Part four, the update that just released. These are the new levels up ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put my graphics back. Just because. This is the arcade level 3999. All right, we entered this area you can't die in this level don't worry about it here is the hub door zero one four thirty seven ninety four seven nine and then three nine 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 and there's two more after that Go back in here. This is where the old levels ended, right here. There'd be a cutscene. But now there's a new update, so we can actually play this part. It's kind of underwhelming, this level. Uh, there's not much to it. Just come over here. Pick up a ticket. Oh, my inventory's full. Pick up a ticket. Has a number on it. 931. Come over here to the elevator. 931. And then you do not need this anymore. That's Hello, the end of the level. And welcome to the MEG Watch this. Civilization. Our goal with this project is to create a safe and habitable living space for everyone. With private one bedroom studios and advanced safety devices, you are sure to stay safe within the walls of this civilization. However, due to the nature of our environment, there are a few safety tips you should always follow to prevent unwanted dangers. The first tip is to always stay aware of no clipping which is when someone may fall through a floor into a different, often more dangerous level. We've taken the time to mark these areas with yellow tape. Sometimes authorized personnel may need to no clip to other levels in order to fix power outages. When doing so, be Control. sure to always carry a flashlight and pay attention to the traffic lights posted near each area. The red and yellow lights indicate that there's danger nearby and you should wait before entering. The green light indicates that there's currently no danger nearby, but you should always be alert as you will be outside of our civilization. If you're interested in pre-ordering a space in the MEG civilization, please contact your nearest outpost. All right, that's the end of that level. And now we're in this level, similar to level zero looking. Uh, pick up some items if you want to. You'll look, see this thing right here. Uh, you need to turn all these red lights green. You'll see this lever here. You'll need to activate it. And you cannot go this way yet. You will die. I will show you what that looks like. But I'm going to restart right before I do that. Just so I keep my items. Yep, you can see that guy comes out, he kills you. But if you're quick enough, you can restart, keep everything. 
So you do not want to go there first. You want to go to the left here, and we need to open doors in the underworld. You'll see what I mean. Uh, smithers in this part actually disappear when you shine light at them, which is very useful. I did not know that the first time I played, and it was very, very hard. But now that I know that, it is very easy. So you'll see these doors here. They are locked. In order to unlock them, like the video said, you'll see these traffic lights. If it's green, that means you can jump down and you're safe. If it's red, don't jump down, obviously. That's a bad idea. So it's green right now. And I'm going to jump down. You can see these guys disappear when you shine your light at them. Opening the doors unlocks the doors on the on the top side. So that's why you do that. And you basically just want to walk around. Be careful. There is a skin stealer. He's the biggest threat in this level. Because the smilers, they just disappear when you shine a light at them. So you just want to run around getting all of the doors. If the skin sealer sees you, jump into these uh, areas or go behind the door. These areas will bring you back to the surface. I'm just killing them right now. Oh, he's right there. So I'm going to run in here, close the door. I don't want to repeat what happened in hotel. Oh, I think I saw his foot there. So we can go to the right. There's another door over here. We want to get this door. Alright. Now we have two more doors. We need five of them total. If you see a smiler shining, obviously, unless it's far away, you don't need to. Oh my god, that guy was close. Here's the fourth door. And there's one more. And it should, I think it's close. Uh, I just saw the skin stealer. I think he went over here. Let's hope he did. Just hug the right wall. Usually works. And that's the last one. And now we just need to go back to the surface. And all these doors will be unlocked. So you need to find a yellow tape area. They are somewhere. I think there's one over here. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, you'll see these yellow tape areas. Jump in it. You'll go back into this area. Very cool. And... You do not need to go down anymore. All you need to do is find all the doors. Here's one of them. Open it up. You'll see this breaker here. You want to click on it when it gets on the yellow area. Pretty straightforward. And you just need to do that five times. Bam. This level is not too bad. Once you know that 
the flashlight kills the smilers and makes it so much easier. Oh, I missed. There we go. You're completely safe up here. It's just when you go down that it's unsafe. And I have one more door to do. Or the door is already done, but I need the breaker. Got that one, and now we're done with the level. You'll see here, all these are green. And what this does is, is it brings down a gate and it keeps this guy from killing you. So you want to pull it down, wait for it to go all the way down, and then run across, and he will not kill you. And now you go into this elevator. Looks kind of sketchy, but you gotta use it. Alright, now we're in the snack rooms. Basically just a bunch of items. You can use them to replenish your sanity. Uh, the elevator falls. Don't get scared. 3752. That's the code. Come over to this typewriter. 3752. That opens up this door. And if you couldn't tell by the red hall whip, oh, didn't mean to drink that. If you couldn't tell by the red hallway, that means dangerous. And there, there will be a big chase in this area. And it is very hard the first time. You, you'll, you will probably die your first time. Don't worry about it. Everybody dies at some point, especially on this level. Uh, hit this pressure plate that opens up this gate. In multiplayer, somebody will always have to be on that. Then you want to run this way. Uh, you'll see this switch over here. Once you click it, an entity will spawn over here. It's called a clump. Uh, they are fast and they will kill you very harshly. You want to run backwards where you came from. And you want to run right because this gate here is now open. And you just want to dodge. All the doors. And th you want to go to this blue room here. You are completely safe in this room. So you can take a little break here before the next part. And you'll want this uh, chainsaw here. The chainsaw will help you out a ton. Or you, you need it. It's not like it's helpful, it's literally required, but you want to go down here and instantly turn this way. So you can just go down here. You need to open this door with the chainsaw. Open it up. Jump up here. Jump off of it. And then follow the path I take. Jump down here. Go left. And you want to go down these stairs. Don't jump in the middle of them. You'll die. I don't know why I did that. Uh, right. Right here. Right again. Left. And... That's that level right there. Very easy. Or not it's not too easy, it's not too bad though. Once you get the pathing down. And now we're onto this level. I forgot to mention where the hub door is on level 188. Um uh, 
here it is right here bam uh you need three tvs which doesn't make much sense but you need three tvs and you need to set them in these spots and you need to push them yep and it sounds easy until you see the monster on this level uh you'll see what i mean uh so, some people will get floor two some people will get floor three it doesn't really make much of a difference i got floor two um you just look for three tvs in this floor uh you need one at a time though and I'll show you what the monster is, because he might spawn over here. Yep, there he is. And he's very, very fast. And scary. Oh, and you can't have an item in here. You can't have an item in your hand when you push the TV. Oh. He's coming back through. Don't get close to the windows. If you couldn't tell by the guy with red eyes, that's probably a bad idea. All right, should be good to push it. Check back every now and then. You have to use Q and your leaning keys to move it and you have to stop moving to turn it and you have to you can only go forward in one direction which is very scuffed but it's how fancy made it so that's whatever um, you have to bring the TV here and it will slide inside of the elevator just like that it'll go down now you have to go down to all right pick it up turn move forward And then this is TV A, so you want to put it in the A spot. It'll plug in and turn on that, which does something, I guess. Not really sure why, but we need two more of them. Go back upstairs or go up, go up a floor. There he is. Watch out for him. He's fast. Oh, my almond water's there. Oh, oh he's coming back. You basically just gotta wait for your best moment to get the t these TVs because this guy is so fast it's very hard to do it when he's around. Sometimes you have to camp for minutes straight waiting for him to go to the right spot because he can camp you. Alright he went that way. Check all these rooms. Check the bathrooms as well. The TV can spawn in the bathrooms. I don't know who's watching TV in the bathroom, so, but that's what people do around here, I guess. Alright. I think these are locked. Yeah. The second TV's there. 
But I need to make sure the creature isn't over. Alright, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna go check this corner. Yep, he's coming. If you hear the footsteps, run inside of a room really quick. Wait for this guy to leave. Oh, come on. Yep. He can camp you, so just be careful. No, I'm not getting close to you. Just gotta wait for this guy to leave. Very annoying. And he's coming back already. Wow. That's great. Alright, I think we're good now. Quick check. We're good. Quick check. We're good. Quick check. Okay. You just want to keep checking, make sure he's not behind you, or else you're dead. You just gotta wait for the perfect moment. That's all it is. Alright, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. We should be on the home stretch here. Carefully maneuver it. It is very hard to move sometimes. Put it in the elevator. All right. That's our second TV. We haven't died yet, which is very good. This part's hard. You just gotta be very careful. And it is, it is random where the TV spawn. So wherever I'm getting them, you'll get them in a different spot most likely. All right, we got the second one. We just need a uh, TVB. We're going back. Drink the almond water. All right, the last TV should be on this side. Oh, fudge. We survived, we survived. How do, how are we alive? That was very close. I should have uh, leaned and checked the corner. That was my bad. Alright, now it's good. Oh, and the last one's right here. That's, we got some pretty good TVs. 
they can be pretty hard to get sometimes. Okay, I think we're good to bring it all the way down. Because you can't see us from this angle. Alright. Almost there. And we beat the level. Alright. Not too bad. It can it can be pretty tough. Especially on the first time. Grab the last TV. Turn slowly. Put it down. And this opens up this door somehow. Makes a lot of sense. Alright. And now, you want to jump off right here. If you go down too far, uh, this guy will come out. I'll show you what I mean. He drops down, so just drop, just jump down right away. Now we're back in the pool rooms, except this is a much larger pool rooms, much larger, and it has like three sub levels in it. Uh, if you see green stuff, it is poisonous, and you'll die if you go inside of it. So don't, I guess. Get in the boat. Go forward. And we'll be swimming over the green stuff right here. You just want to make it to the ladder. And then you want to go up this ladder here. Yep, this is a very weird animation, but that's how that works. Uh, you just turn on all these valves up here. Very simple. And then that spawns a bunch of water. Now we go back to the boat. And then you just slowly boat around. You'll go super fast here. Do a 360. And then you can get out right here and you just go up this ladder oh we got too close to it there we go go up here go to the left and then you'll see these holes with ladders in them. That's where you want to go down. There is a monster down here. Um, it's the same one in the hotel chase level, the clump. Basically, you have to turn valves to fill up this tank, and then you can go back up. It like adds water to the surface or something. Basically, you want to go over here first. Clumps are scared of water, so if you get in water, you'll be fine. Unless it's shallow water, they can walk in shallow water. But this this is deep enough. You can swim and dive in this water here if you want to. 
get out right here. Turn this valve. It's a very slow turning. And now this is one of the four we need. Watch out for the clump. Go to the right here, get this one. If he does see you, just restart. If you have nowhere to go. Because they'll just kill you. And your valves will save upon restart. So don't don't worry about going back to them if you do restart or die. That's three out of four. We need one more. Oh, he ignored us. He just passed over there. So we can actually go get the last one very safely. Which is right over here. Open it up. Or turn it. And then we can go back. And we can climb back up this ladder. And this part, you just want to go back to the boat. Oh, that boat just kind of flew out of the water. But yeah, just head back down and jump off. Just jump off. Get in the boat. And you'll notice a big uh, gap up here. Obviously, this boat doesn't fly. So you have to go up this ladder first. And turn some valves. So get out. Climb up this ladder. One, two, three, four. Eight, that's all of them. You'll notice water filling up this area. just go across the boat now and it's a very slow process so just enjoy the view of tiled walls blue water very long arms Because you're in the boat, you can go over the virus without dying. Park your boat in the middle here. Get out. Climb this ladder over here. Alright. Climb this long ladder. Alright. And now we're going to go back down into another dark area with a clump. With another tank to fill up. This one's the easiest one. There's only three of them we have to get. 
and it's kind of hard to get killed. Unless you're dumb, like me. There is a bug where the heartbeat sound will play after you get out of the water. Uh, so enjoy the next 30 seconds of heartbeat sounds. Alright, we got one of them. Second one's down here. Be careful. A clump can be in here. Yep. Oh, he's on me, he's on me. Uh, jump into this pool. And you'll be fine. Because we jumped in here, we can get this one first. Oh no. You have to- oh. I have to go all the way back over here. Alright, I'm getting the second one. Alright, now I need to try to get to the third one again. Oh, that's great. Try to go get that one now. Oh, what? <laughs> um, they can do parkour, apparently. How to get up here? I'm kind of confused. But anyways, the last one's right here. Hopefully I can get it this time. Would be very nice. And like the other levels, you can just restart after you get all of them. And you can just climb back up. And just run back to your boat. You do not take fall damage here. So you can break your ankles on that fall. And then you can jump down here to the boat. And then you want to get in the boat. And drive it through here. Try not to hit anything because... It, it really slows you down a lot. You just want to make your way over to this ladder. Alright, this next section is another clump section with the valves. We've already done 
this type of stuff three times already. Just go here. Now I have nothing to lose because of my last death. But there is seven. There is seven of them in this part. And he is already there. That's right, turn around. Here's one of them. I do not remember where all of them are, so I might have to run around quite a bit. There's another one up here. Basically, if the clump sees you, jump in the water. Pretty simple. There's a lot of water in this part, but there's also a lot of valves, so it kind of balances it out. Oh, can't get out there, I guess. Thought you could. where he came from. You can only get out here. That's weird. Alright. We can go this way next. We haven't gone this way yet. There's another one. That's number three. Haven't spotted the clump again, so that's good. Now the rest of them should be on this side. I'm gonna go over here. Looks like he went in there. I'm gonna go in here next. This area is kind of cool. Has mushrooms. Nice little river, but there's no valve. Monsters over there, so I'm gonna go here. Here's another valve. Oh. Um. Alright then, I'll go this way. I'll have to come back to that to get those ones. I'll go get this one first. You can do a nice high dive right here. But you want to go here first, and there should be a valve in here. Yep. That's my fifth one, I think. So I have two more. I can always check the tank at the start. If I forget. Okay, I have one more after this one. That's where the clump is camping right now. Well, hopefully he's not there anymore, but he's been there this entire time, so. Oh, what do you know? He's right there.
Um, come on, seriously. How am I supposed to get this one? He just keeps going this way. I think he saw me. Yep. Oh my god, he went back. Um. That's a little weird. Jump in here. Will he? Will he go a different way? Let's go. Alright, we can come get this last one in this room. And then like always we can just restart and we'll be back where the ladders are and it's much faster that way. So you can just restart level. You can see that the tank is full. You can go back up this ladder. And we're basically done with this level. You can just uh hop down here if you want. Or you can take the stairs. You have to do a crouch jump to get over this railing. So if you want, just take the stairs if you don't know to do if you don't know how to do that. But you can just go over here since the water is full, you can climb out of the water. And now you just have to swim all the way over to this area. And the next level is, I think it's my favorite level. It's not too bad in, in terms of difficulty. It's basically just an extension of level fun. Uh, like this was an extension of chorus, but it's a really good level. Once again, we're walking upstairs, but this time it's not infinite, and we go down a slide. Now we're in this area has a ball pit. And don't worry, nothing can kill you in this area. It's only when you go into these rooms. It seems to be like, there's a lot of juices in here, but I'm just gonna grab almonds. Uh, once you get keys, you put them in this machine. Um, I'll start the easiest one. There's no danger in this one. Just run on through. You can look at the stuff because it looks kind of cool if you want. But one of these rooms will be a tape. Here it is. Uh, it can be in here or here. It's random. Then you want to come over to the TV. You want to put it in. See how it flashes green? That means you want to pop a green balloon. 
Now you want to do green, then yellow. Then green, yellow, blue. It's just kind of like memory. Green, yellow, blue, red next. Green, yellow, blue, red, and then pink. So green, yellow, blue, red, and the last balloon here opens this door. And we got a key. Now we can head back. That's our first key. Now we need three more. Uh, you can you can put them all in at the end. If you want to put it in now, it's fine. But you want to go in this area next. This is probably the hardest area, maybe. Basically, you just pop every single balloon until you find a key. Yes, very long. I doubt it could spawn in this area, but who knows. And now you'll notice something weird about these party goers. They can walk. Yep, they have legs. The other ones have legs, but they walk around. Just make sure a key didn't drop. You can see there, they're walking around. They're not just standing still. Can make it kind of difficult, but there's a lot of tables around. It's not that bad. Just make sure you look for keys that drop down. You haven't gotten anything yet. No key. Um, someone heard us. Go under a table. Oh, he saw us. Just keep popping balloons. Oh, there's the key. Alright, the key fa fell out of this balloon. It will be random for you guys. It'll be in a different balloon. We got it here though. So all we need to do now is head back. Uh, someone saw us. Just be careful. And then just run back. Now we have two of them. And we need two more. So we'll go here next. And this is like an arcade looking type area. So in order to open this door, we need glow sticks. The glow sticks can be found in this area here. Pick up uh, one of each, but you need an extra one of just one of the colors. I'll take an extra green. So yeah, you just need that. I wonder if he fixed this there. Okay, he did.
Now we go upstairs. And there is an enemy up here. He can't kill you. Unless you're like sprinting. Or if you walk like right in front of him. Um, so you're safe to... You're safe to walk. He doesn't have good ears. That's unlucky. Um, let me do that again. Yeah, just be careful. Sometimes he'll just walk right into you, like there. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Oh, my item saved. Please. So it's not green. It's not yellow. It is red because you see it, it uh, started glowing. So you want to click and you'll set it down here. And now we just need to find the other ones. Just be careful around this guy. Here's the next one. It's yellow. Put the yellow one down. Next one's right here. It's green. The last one is all the way back here at the start, just inside here. And it's right here, put it down, it'll stay. You can just run out if you want. And then this door will be open and you'll get a key. Now we have three keys. Um, we need one more. The next area is kind of tough. It's not too bad, but it depends how good your aim is. And yes, we get our first weapon in this game. I'll show you. I'll show you an example of what not to do. If you grab a firework, throw it right above you, you die. So you want to stand back a little bit when you throw them. Just grab as many as you can. And you'll notice these things on the ceiling, they have eyeballs. They are called party hosts. Uh, you just blow them up with the fireworks by throwing them at him like this. Or well, I already killed this one, but... That's what you would do to not die. You just back up a little bit. And now in this area, there are enemies. They spawn once you get close. And you just need to go under the table. And you need to be quick. You need to quickly come back. Throw this. Run over here. Stay under the table. Now you can go through here. Then you need to go get this one first. Just wait for the party goers to come out. Go under the table. Go and get it. Alright. Now this door will be open. But just wait. Because the party goers keep coming out. Once they go back in, go in here. Get this guy. Run back out. 
get near a table. Now we need one more over here. They do come out of here, so just wait here until they come out. Enter here to get this guy. And now we're done with this room. Go under here. Be quick. I should have waited a little bit just for safety. But we need to get this guy. We got it. Sniped him. Just wait for these guys to come out. Now we can run up this, drop down here, uh, wait for these guys to come out over here. And then you want to throw it and then jump at the peak of your throw. And we missed. Alright, throw it jump and we hit it and now this room will be open we grab the key and now they should not spawn anymore so you should be completely safe after this all right looks like we're good um uh here yeah, i know a quicker way to get back There we go. Easy as that. Alright, now we have all the keys. Come to this machine. Use W, A, S, and D to move it. Put that in. Just gotta match the colors. Pretty simple. And the last one's up here. This will open. I forgot once again to tell you where the hub door is on this level. Although, if you miss it, um, that's your fault because it's literally right here at the start. Just walk in. And that is all of the hub doors. And now this level, I will not be telling you what to do because there is a friendly entity on this level that will do that for me. This guy right here, he's called a party pooper. He will show us the way. So just do whatever he does. It's pretty simple. He is kind of slow. But... Doing this without dying is much faster than having to reset, so just follow the way he does. Don't follow right behind him, because if your reaction time isn't that good, uh, it might catch you off guard. I'm not sure why he needs a glow stick to see there's lights in the room but he needs it I guess
All right, we're almost done. Just gotta follow this guy. This is the last level we're approaching. All right, here we are at the last level. Um, grab some items if you want them. And you'll see cameras over here. Basically, you need to take the picture of whatever you see on the sticky note on your screen so we need to find where it says who is here in multiplayer the first one is actually different you just have to take a picture of your teammates basically just use the elevator go down it's kind of loud i'm gonna turn it down i don't think that was right Whatever. Click it again to stop it. Walk off this first area here, completely safe. Uh, you'll notice this here. Snap a photo, very easy. Now we just need to find this area. Kind of forgot where it was, but it's over here. All right, snap a photo of that. And now comes the harder parts because there are a bunch of enemies down there. The blue floor has a howler on it. And the bottom floor has smilers and spin stealers on it. So the van is back this way. I'm just trying to see if I can get eyes on the howler. There we go. Now we need to find the howler. Uh, the safe way is just waiting up here and waiting for him to poke his head out and then taking a picture but that can take a while a way to make this place much easier is actually increasing your gamma a little bit you can see better um, I don't want to just wait around. There are lockers you can hide in if you need them. This is very foggy. Will that help? Oh, that helps a lot. Turn on low shadows. You can see so much better. Let's see if we can see him in here. Oh, right there. Alright, wasn't close enough. I'll just have to get closer. Oh, come on. 
All right, got him. Now we can go down. And this is the hardest floor. There is a skin sealer on this floor. Oh, uh, you have to take a picture of him as the last one. But the smithers actually disappear to your camera. So have your camera out at all times. And then you just need to find the stone people, wherever they are. I should know this. Um. I do not see them. Oh, there they are. Alright, now we need to find this guy. Skin stealer. He is somewhere out here. And it, it is okay to take your final picture as you're dying. Because then you'll just go back up top. And it's actually much faster that way. Instead of having to go all the way back up. I do not know where this guy is though. So we gotta find him. Right here. Yep, and we can just die. And that might may have seemed like a bad thing, but it's actually a good thing. Because we can just spawn up here again. That hatch is open. We got all the photos needed. We can check them out on these monitors. Here's our first photo, second one, third one. Nice, good, good photos. And then we just go up. And you'll notice this cool looking room here. There's a TV with static on it. And this is actually the final level. This is where the game ends. Uh, the final cutscene is down here. All you gotta do is jump down. So I assume there, there will be multiple endings next part. This is just one of them. Hey, it's me.